Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Sally and this is Fabulous Over 50. On today's video, I'm going to talk about collagen. Did you know that the medical dermatology and science community have had a change of heart? Some of the stuff that we were told three, five years ago apparently no longer applies. I'm gonna share with you exactly what I found, what I use, and why you should be taking a collagen supplement today. If you're ready, let's get started. Science is proving that internal collagen supplements significantly improve not only our skin, but our overall health. So let's start with the basics. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body, making up 75% of our dry body weight, which is incredible. It is literally the glue that keeps us together. Now, when it comes to collagen, we are bombarded with advertisements about different supplements and topical creams. Today, I'm going to talk about collagen supplements. I'm going to share later exactly what I'm taking, but let's stick to the facts. Now, I've got some bad news for us. Originally, we were told that collagen depreciated after the age of 30, 35. Well, now evidence suggests that collagen starts to decline from our 20s at a rate of knots. 1% thickness year on year, which is pretty shocking. When we get to our 50s, we are producing collagen at a rate of 50% less than we were in our 20s. Yes, half the amount of collagen, girls, is being produced. In fact, our collagen and our cells, our skin cells, everything seems to have fallen asleep a little bit. And there's no wonder. When we hit perimenopause and beyond, our collagen production literally dives off a cliff, and that's related to our estrogen. So what can we do about collagen? And why is it so important to take these supplements? Well, did you know that collagen isn't just a beauty supplement? It actually significantly improves our gut health, our muscle mass, our bone density, our joint health, and hair and nails too. Yes, it is so important for so many parts of our body. Now remember, bone density is crucial after the age of 50. You know that we're all heading there and bone density diminishes as we get older and none of us want to be at risk of breakages or accidents. Now collagen really helps with muscle mass and I know that you already understand that our bone density and muscle mass are crucial for each other. So you can see the connection that collagen for muscle mass, collagen for bone density, we need to be taking more collagen. So let's talk about the science and the new discoveries. A randomized study was done on women over 40 to see if internal supplementation of collagen helped with lines and wrinkles. Well, let me tell you that within a three month period, a significant proportion of the study group saw a decline in lines and wrinkles and an increase in skin elasticity, texture and tone. Now, a study on perimenopausal and menopausal women was found that over the course of a year, taking five grams of collagen every single day significantly improved their bone density. And let's face it, that is such an important factor. We can look beautiful on the outside, but if our bones are crumbling on the inside, What's the point? So taking collagen has incredible benefits for us girls. But how do we know which collagen to choose? Well, it's really important to say that the collagen that you choose has to be easily incorporated into your daily habits. There's no point in starting taking collagen one day a week or you know you start it really, really well for the first week and then you forget. It's got to be something that A, you don't mind taking and B, fits into your lifestyle easily. It also has to be a really high quality collagen, something that isn't ultra processed, something that is bioavailable. Now that is super important. Bioavailability means that the body will use that collagen and will distribute it easily without breaking it down too much to the parts of your body that is crying out for it. Now what we should be looking for is hydrolyzed collagen peptides. Now these are the gold standard. These are the peptides and the collagen that doesn't disappear when the body digests the product. Now that's super important because there's no point taking collagen supplements and your body digestive system strips it away and you just excrete it out. What you want is something that the body easily absorbs and puts to work straight away. Hydrolyzed collagen peptides is the number one gold standard when it comes to internal supplementation. 
So you also might be thinking, well, there are different types of collagen, Sally. There's type one, type two, type three. Which one do I need? Well, the truth is we need all of them. Type one collagen is found in skin, tendons, ligaments, and bones. It's the most abundant collagen in our body, making up 90% of our overall collagen. It helps with bone density, which helps reduce the risk of osteoporosis. It contributes to strength and elasticity, which is super important for the skin, your bones, and of course, your overall health. Type two collagen is primarily found in your connective tissue, so your cartilage, helping cushion our joints. It is incredible at helping with inflammation. As our joints get older and they wear, of course, we can get aches and pains. Taking a really good supplement of type two collagen is going to go a long way way, helping with those aches and pains that we get in our joints as we get older. Now type 3 collagen is found in our skin, our lungs and our blood vessels and type 3 works with type 1. That's why when you buy supplements you'll often see type 1 and type 3 together because they work synergistically together. Now type 3 collagen helps with your lines and wrinkles, plumping out your skin, making you look more youthful and healthy but it also goes a long way to helping with those blood vessels or walls which supports cardiovascular health really important collagen type that we all should be taking as we get older for women over 50 type 1 and type 3 collagen really helps with lines and wrinkles not just the face but all over the body too so where does our collagen come from so type 1 collagen which is taken from bovine cow or marine which of course is fish is easily absorbed into the body it goes through a process of hydrolysis which gives us hydrolyzed collagen peptides. Peptides which are super tiny, so the body absorbs them easily. Type two collagen comes from chicken cartilage. Type three collagen are similar to type one in as much as they come from marine and bovine sources. Vegan collagen is produced very differently. It is a very innovative process which extracts genes from the original collagen sources because remember, collagen is a natural product from animal sources. The gene is then grown with yeast, which then creates the collagen that's suitable for vegan and vegetarians. Now, super important to remember that if you're taking any form of collagen, you need to be taking vitamin C too. Vitamin C helps with the absorption of collagen. It also supports your immune system. So if your collagen doesn't come with a form of vitamin C too, make sure you also supplement your diet with a great source of vitamin C. It's also worth mentioning that a lot of collagens come with hyaluronic acid. And as we know, hyaluronic acid is part of our body, which helps with hydration and helping with plumping too. So how much should I be taking to help with lines and wrinkles and my bone density and the rest of those fabulous benefits of taking collagen? So the golden rule is a thousand milligrams of collagen taken internally every single day significantly improves skin elasticity, hydration and lines and wrinkles. However, it gets a bit confusing because if we want to take collagen supplements for our bone, ligaments and muscle, then we should be looking at five grams, which is 5,000 milligrams. So you can see that you could be taking quite a bit of collagen. My best advice is to start following the manufacturer's instructions of whatever collagen that you decide to take, and you will significantly improve your collagen within your body, no matter what. So we know we need types one, two, and three collagen, but which form do we take it in? And by that, I mean there's bovine collagen, there's marine collagen, and of course there's vegan collagen, and they come in different types. So this is a marine collagen sachet. This is my bovine collagen peptide powder, and on my desk, I also have some collagen tablets. Now, depends really whether you like taking tablets, you like taking sachets, or you prefer a powder. And that's it, that's the only real difference. Some people find if they're allergic to shellfish, they need to steer away from anything that contains marine collagen. Other people say they're fine. Now, if you're vegan or vegetarian, then you probably want to go for a collagen tablet or a powder supplement. There are loads on the market. You just have to look at what's going to suit you, your lifestyle, your dietary requirements, and of course, your digestion. 
So my collagen supplements that are absolutely non-negotiable are these two. So I absolutely love this. This is Vital Proteins. It's a very fine bovine collagen, type one and type three. It is incredibly easy to take because it's so fine. I simply add it to my coffee, whiz it up. It makes it super creamy. If you don't drink coffee, you can add it to shakes, to smoothies, to any drink whatsoever. I do that first thing in the morning. And I also take these. These are my type two collagen supplements that I take every single morning with a glass of water. It's so easy. It is literally second nature to me right now. And taking those two, I know that I have just done myself a favor. I'm looking after myself both externally and internally, and I am going some way to reducing lines and wrinkles and creaks and aches as I get older. Now with anything, consistency is key. So there's no point in taking collagen for a few days and then say, this doesn't work. You need to stick at it. I would say take collagen every single day for at least a month to see a change in your skin texture and tone. And of course, those aches and pains and those things that happen as we get older. I personally have been taking collagen for well over two years. I have to admit, I do swap out my brands occasionally just to try something else, but I always seem to come back to this one. It is such an easy one to incorporate. And if you don't drink tea or coffee, you can add it to a cold smoothie. You can add it to any cold drink whatsoever. That's why I like it. I do it first thing in the morning. I don't have to think about it again. So I'm going to link all the sciencey bits that you may want to read and why now they're talking about collagen supplementation as being beneficial for your lines and wrinkles. Whereas before they used to say it was a bit of a placebo effect. I love it when the science community catches up with us girls we knew all along. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, perhaps you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with your girlfriends. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe. I bring videos just like this every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.